Hey friends, tonight we are checking in to Disney's Hotel New York, the Art of Marvel. This is the newest Disneyland Paris resort and I'm so excited to stay here. It is a Marvel themed resort. I'm going to give you the full tour, show you my room, and then later on we're going to head on over to Disneyland Paris and have dinner at Walt's American Restaurant. So we're going to eat some food, tour the resort, and have an amazing Marvel kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. If you're a big Marvel fan, I'm sure you're going to be glad to hear that each room and each floor is all separately themed to a different Marvel character. And it's really awesome because unless you ask for a certain character, uh, you never know what you're going to get. Like they have different themed areas inside the lobby itself and also some cool props like some Marvel props. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited. I'm also super excited to go to Walt's American Restaurant. It's definitely one of the places I've been wanting to eat. And then also probably hang out around Disneyland Paris for a little bit and ride some rides because I think tonight might be our last night here before we uh, have to fly back to good old Florida, back to Walt Disney World. This resort is definitely one of the closest resorts to Disneyland Paris and it has cool statues of like Iron Man and Black Panther out front and here it is. You can see it's actually really nice. It looks like a, a hotel, like a New York hotel and uh, that's what they were going for. The theming is pretty amazing. I got so excited when I found out I would be staying here I decided to wear my Iron Man Roosevelt shirt because it really blends in perfect here and there are so many murals of all the great Marvel superheroes. I can't wait to show you everything. This place is really awesome. I've noticed that they have a different like version of some of the Marvel music playing in the resort and it's kind of nifty. I can hear it in this bush right here. It's really cool and uh, we're going to make our way into the lobby. It might be really loud because it feels like you're in New York in there and it's a very hustle bustle area. This is one of the more expensive Disneyland Paris resorts. So let me know what you guys think if it's worth it. I mean, it's hard to put a price on any fandom because if you're a fan of Marvel itself, you're probably going to love this resort. As soon as you walk in the lobby, they have a couple of Iron Man suits on display right here. And it's really nifty actually seeing them there. It's really cool to walk into a lobby and see that. And then they have the Skyline Bar, where it's like you're actually overlooking New York City. And then a couple of uh, Captain America's shields. Lots of props. And this is only just the front lobby here. So I'm going to try to point out everything. And does that make a hit at Mickey? Well, they have to be touching, I think. They have different parts of the resort themed to certain areas from Marvel. In the center you have Midtown and then all the way to the far left you have the Brownstone Wing along with the Empire State Club and Lounge and then to the right you have uh, Gramercy uh, Wing or well, Gramercy Park and that's where we're actually staying so we're going to head on over here but also I wanted to point out that there's a uh, Bleecker Street uh, Lounge too that goes well with any of the uh, Doctor Strange fans. And this is a cool spot. You can get coffee or some cocktails and stuff like that. And it's not really themed too much. It's just mainly, you know, Doctor Strange. They have that one mural in here, but they do have some cool looking chairs. Look at that. These are actually really fancy chairs. I'm gonna head up to my room and show you the room now. I'm on the third floor of Gramercy, but on my way, I wanna stop and show you guys all the different theming uh, levels along with some of the cool murals they have. I love how we make our way over to the list and they have some of these Mike Mitchell portraits actually here. You got Luke Cage, Iron Man, Hawkman. You got Deadpool over here waving. Look at that. This is cool. Thor, Hulk, a little bit of everybody. And now uh, to the lifts. Like I mentioned, each level has a different theming to a superhero. On level one, over here in Gramercy Park, they have uh, Spider-Man. And that's really cool. And you know what? On my way up, I'll make sure to stop on each floor to show you the theming of each level. 
there are going to be murals of each superhero at every single end of a hallway. And there's a lot of different hallways. So there's a big Spider-Man mural down there. And then the same thing that goes down here. And then, of course, in the main area to each floor, they have uh, usually one big like Spider-Man mural or whatever character that is supposed to be there. While we're still on the first floor, I want to take you down to the Metro Pool. They have a pool here, and uh, this is still a little bit theming of Spider-Man, but since this is a common area, you'll start seeing a couple more different superheroes. You got the design studio here, that's really cool. You can come and design some nice stuff. There's a bunch of people in there now, so I really don't want to peep in there, but it's a lot of fun for the kids. You get to do some artwork and Watch some uh, Marvel cartoons. I'm guessing that this little area right here must be Gramercy Park because it's over in this section. But it's also cool to point out that they have an indoor outdoor pool because we are in Paris and it's very gloomy a majority of the time. So it's nice that they have an indoor outdoor one and it's really cool looking. They have a fitness room and a vending machine, so in case you wanted to buy uh, some swim attire, you can actually buy some. And then a locker room, and I'll show you guys the locker room area. Uh, that's also, that leads into the indoor pool. Uh, it's really cool. The pool is like really awesome. I already checked it out, and I was like, wow, this is fancy. Right outside the fitness room, they have the hero training zone over here, multi-sports fields, and then the outdoor section of the pool. I'm gonna show you the outdoor section. Holy moly, look at the steam piping out of there. It's a cold, rainy day today though in the parks. Let's see if I can show you. It's really cool, the shape of the pool. Because this is the pool here, and it actually goes inside right there, but it's still very nifty. And then over here, it looks like they have a uh, Marvel training zone. What is this, like a basketball court over here? I didn't see this before, but I like it. This is so cool, actually. I'm sorry, I know I got uh, sidetracked and I was gonna go up to the room, but I wanted to show you guys this stuff. We'll get to the room tour soon, but this is really kind of cool. Check this out. It's the hero training uh, zone, and it's like a bunch of like workout equipment to get you all ready for your hero like status. I think this is so funny. I think this is so cool. Look at that. And then they got this gigantic basketball court. It's really nice. You can see Captain America in here. You can see Iron Man. This is an awesome basketball court. Holy male, holy moly, holy moly. And then what's over here? Oh, like a little fighting thing where you train to fight. This is cool. If I was a kid, I would love all of this. I'm not even too sure what this is. I'm afraid to jump on it. Oh boy, should I just, should I trust myself? I'm gonna break an ankle. Oh boy, oh, oh, huh? Huh? oh boy. Okay, I like it, I like it. <laughs> Got me out of here, jumping around, kicking stuff. I like it. I'm a hero in training. Ah, that was fun. Like you, like that. I think I just pulled something. <laughs> All right, enough of the kickboxing and jumping around business. Back inside to show you the pool and then up to the room. The Metro pool is really cool and you can actually see those are the doors that it actually goes out into. And I don't wanna show you the whole pool because there's people swimming, but that's just a quick look of it. And I like the inside, it's very nice. Lots of sun, you can maybe uh, tan in here. Okay, well, we showed you the pool, we showed you the fitness room, we showed you the hero training area. Now it's up to the room and uh, probably back down to hang out at one of the lounges before we make our way uh, back on over into the park. Another cool thing is the elevators are actually themed really nice too. Look at this. It's so nice. Okay, so we're gonna do every single floor so I can show you each of the characters as we go through. And look at this. The New, York, the New York Boutique is like the gift shop and then they're showing you the Bleecker Street and Skyliner Bar. They also have, I think, two restaurants here. Okay, so first floor is Captain America floor. And it goes all the way down the hallway with all different characters. Now let's see, second floor. 
I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this nice tour. Elevator music would be nice. <laughs> Let's see, second floor is... Door! Door is second floor, okay. Now up to the third floor where I'm staying and guess what floor I got. I'm very excited because I'm wearing his shirt right now at this very moment. There we go. Third floor, Iron Man. Isn't that so nifty? And like I said, the murals are all the way through. Like it's never ending on every single end. So every intersection basically. So this would be this intersection right here. Let me see, yeah, right here. I don't know, I kinda wanna do a, uh, a wrap around. We could do a little wrap around. Or should, oh, you know what? We're just gonna go this way because this is the way to our room actually. I also wanna say, I don't know what the smell is in this hotel, but it is phenomenal. And if there's a way I can buy it, I'm buying the scent of Disney's Hotel New York because it is incredible. I don't know if there's any other characters on the other like uh, wings of the hotel like in Midtown and stuff like that. They probably is, but uh, yeah, see? Some more Iron Man artwork and murals over here. And then also, I love the room numbers. Look at, isn't that so cool? It's like, a, like it's the little things that count. And especially when it comes to like Marvel. If you walked out, oh no, that's a cool one. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That is a nice one right there. I'm so happy I packed this Iron Man shirt. I am like blending in perfectly. Like it's so cool. And Roosevelt's actually launched a new line of Iron Man shirts. I should have wore one of those, but I didn't know I was gonna actually be on the Iron Man floor. Cause that would have been perfect to go around and match each mural. You can see all the way down there. Iron Man doing a superhero landing. And this is our room, 3124. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so I've already been staying here. Uh, so I have my stuff all here and unpacked. Uh, so the room might not be like in, you know, top shape because like it's not uh, my first time checking in. This is just my first time showing you uh, the resort that I've been staying at. But uh, yeah, here's the grand room tour. Before I mentioned each floor has a different theming uh, like a, of a character, but each room has a different theming too. And I got Spider-Man as my theming. So I have a Spider-Man picture here and then also another Spider-Man picture here. And uh, this is the front entryway right here. That's the door we came in. I got my suitcase there. We got a safe, plenty of drawers down here. I got my hats up here all lined up. Got all my hats lined up, that's the way. Got a nice place to hang uh, some clothes. I've got uh, like a luggage rack, it's very nice. And then here is the bathroom itself. The bathroom is really, really nice. It's got these cool little toilets in here. These toilets are kind of like the same toilets that you'll see all over Europe, but they have a funky, like flushing. I like it. The shower is very nice. For the longest time, when I was taking a shower, I didn't know that this glass actually moved out. So uh, I was kind of just trying to squeeze through there and it was really funny. But yeah, this glass just come out like this. And then they have some special uh, Hotel New York soap, but they got it in lockdown. And this is the expensive resort. So I don't know why I can't take it. It's not like H2O. And I like this, it's very cool. You got the sink area. I'm gonna take these. You're coming home with me. No, oh, yes. Little sink here, nice little mirror. It's very cool. And then inside the room again, you have this big gigantic desk area. Mirror, nice little chair there. Couch, the bed. It's all theming the colors and the carpet. It's very nice, I like the uh, lighting in here. All these actually light up. Oh, but I wanna show you the coolest thing. It took me a whole day to realize that I have a TV. I'm like, wow, you would think that they would put a TV in the room and I'm like, well, maybe it's a Paris thing, but there is a TV. And I was just like looking around and then I found my, uh, I found my remote and I was like, oh, what's this for? I grabbed the remote and I hit the power button and right on the mirror, look at that. 
Hardy Nate. <laughs> Hardy Nate. And it's really cool because it's got like a little Marvel mural here. And it's got the Disney on demand just like in Walt Disney World. But no Stacy. No Stacy though. And then they've got a little uh, espresso machine here. Or I think it's an espresso maybe. Yeah, very fancy. Hotel New York guide. All the good stuff. I'm going to probably keep all this. Is it, oh, is this a little postcard? They give you a nice little postcard. Very nice. And then I think you got a fridge under here. Yeah, little fridge. I didn't, uh, I didn't use this because I don't know what it is. In this hotel, they give you free breakfast. Um, so I've just been going down there and getting coffee. But they do give you some bottles of water. Some fancy Hotel New York water. Eh, don't mind if I do. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice room. Just like... It's, it's like a basic other Disney room and it has air conditioning. A lot of rooms I've seen in Europe and all over the place do not have any AC. So you can crank this down to 16 or whatever you actually want. What would make this room even better is if it had a balcony, but sadly it doesn't have a balcony and there's not much of a view. If you are in Midtown, you probably get the best view. So if you could ask for a certain section, I would ask for Midtown. You know what I mean? Brownstone and Gramercy are both nice, but they're to the side. Midtown, you get to see the whole courtyard. Um, and now I think we're done here. So we're going to go downstairs, meet up with DTH. I'll show you some more stuff. Maybe go to the Sky line bar and uh, then get ready for din din even though they don't have a balcony at least the windows do open up it's probably so people can smoke cigarettes smoking is very heavily here at Disneyland Paris they still actually allow you to smoke in the park and I think just people smoke in general but that's my view right there it's kind of cool I get to see the little uh, hot air balloon and stuff but it's not the, it's not the best you know also, another cool thing I wanted to point out that each of the murals and artworks actually has the artist's name on it to let you know, like, it's their concept, you know? And straight that way is Midtown. But we're going downstairs. And here is the Skyline Bar. Open till 1 a.m. Fancy. Here is a look at the menu. I've noticed that they've already have a old fashioned, which I'm probably gonna go for, but they do have some signature uh, martinis, it looks like. A purple power one, a green dimension, a blue infinity martini, an orange, so oh, this is the infinity gauntlet. Wow, holy moly, that hit me really hard. Look at that. Purple Power, Green Dimension, Blue Infinity, Mystic Yellow, Orange Soul, Red Reality. So you can basically get like all these cocktails and complete the Infinity Gauntlet. That's kind of cool. That's, that, that's fancy. And then, uh, yeah, they got a espresso martini, an old fashioned, and some light snacks as well. I think I'm actually gonna get the cosmic one. This is something that changes colors They said well, it's kind of a layer drink So it's a little bit of blue and a little bit of red they call it the spider-man one and then uh, when you mix it together it turns into uh, Purple and it's pear flavored vodka Elderflower liqueur wait a second. I'm not gonna like this drink. I should have read it. I hate elderflower <laughs> Oh, well, all right it's gonna be fine. I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy it. Cranberry nectar and strawberry sprite. This bar is really cool. I like the atmosphere and I wanted to show you guys the New York skyline, but I don't know if the screen is gonna look good on camera, but I'll still try to show you a little bit. Yeah, it's doing that little thing again, but this is it right here. It looks a lot better not on the camera itself, but there's Avengers Tower. That's really nifty, isn't it? I like that a lot. Well, not Avengers Tower anymore. I wonder what they're going to do with it. And then you can sit here too. Fancy seats. Oh, oh, cosmic. Look at that. And there is some kids. Oh, you might have a wet moment. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Wow. We get some little snackies. <laughs> All right, now it's time to give it a try. Oh, wait. You like it? Oh, man. I was like, I'm not going to like this, but. This is like so tropical, but not overly sweet. I don't taste any pear or elderflower in there. It's like I'm drinking a delicious fruit punch. It honestly tastes like a liquid fruit roll-up. And yes, they are nuts. <laughs> and dried fruit. <laughs> and dried fruit. 
but it tastes like a liquid fruit roll up and I'm good with that. That drink was really good, but now I think I want to try one of the uh, fancier cocktails or one of the infinity cocktails. DTH is going to get the orange, oh no, DTH is going to get the space stone one, the blue infinity, and I'm thinking about getting the orange soul one. Tennessee whiskey with bacon, orange juice, mango puree, egg white, honey liqueur, and then the space one is uh, gin, pear nectar, and a green olive stuffed with blue cheese. We decided to get some infinity stones here. One drink wasn't enough. It's never enough. It's never, never enough. Never enough. Never. I love that. Well, cheers there, buddy. Cheers, bud. Love it. To a great 13 days we've had together. It's been days. amazing. It's been a trip. A memory. Cheers. Cheers. To the orange soul stone. R.I.P. Vision. This is unique. I didn't know how to take it at first, but then it sat there for a second, and I think I like it. Now it's time to head upstairs and get changed so we can make our way over to uh, Disneyland Paris and Waltz, but I wanted to show you a little bit of the other side. They've got the New York Boutique over here. Looks really nice. Got some toys over there. Some more artwork. The boutique is cool, but it's just mainly a bunch of Marvel stuff inside the store. But I do want to check to see if they have any of uh, the scents. Like I said, I would love to buy the scent of this. Oh, they have a candle. Look. Oh, I might want to get that. If that candle smells like this hotel, I may be interested. And then, oh, they have a nice little photo app with the, uh, the Avengers. Earth's Mightiest Superheroes. Look at that. That's really cool. And then over here is the restaurant itself. They have two of them. They have the Manhattan and then the downtown restaurant, which is kind of, it's kind of nifty. They sell stuff from Web Slingers in here. They're actually doing 30% off. Mainly because, you know what I mean, uh, Web Slingers is inside Walt Disney Studios. And then they have some uh, Hotel New York stuff here. Look at this watch. Wow, that's cool. And there it is, the scent. The scent of Hotel New York. 40 euros for this though. I wonder if it actually, oh, it does actually smell like it. Wow. Honestly, I might have to get this candle. 40 euros though, unless I can just look up that scent and see if I can find something different. Man, that's a good scent though. We're gonna make our way over to Disneyland Paris, like I said, but I had to put on a hoodie because it's still a little bit cold out. It's actually rainy and cold out. What a combination. It's a nice night for a cold, rainy walk through Disney Village. <laughs> I wonder if they actually ever let you go up on that. I feel like it's gotta be hard here with always the uh, windy conditions, you know? Of course, the only other hotel that is closer to Disneyland Paris than Hotel New York is the Disneyland Paris Hotel right in front of us because it's actually the entrance. Oh, I wish I could have stayed here. But like I said, it's closed for refurbishment. So I really do love the Hotel New York though. It's very nice. I am so excited to eat at Walt's American restaurant. I can't wait to actually see the inside. I think that's what drew me to this restaurant the most is the actual theming of it. I think it's like, like I said, I think it's like Walt's apartment. And plus, we're gonna be eating on the second level of Main Street, like the upper windows. And I think that's the coolest thing ever. It was rainy earlier today, but it's actually beautiful out. And before when I was talking about we're going to be eating like on the second level, what I'm talking about is the upstairs, the upstairs area where like all the windows are at. Right here is Walt's on the corner here. And the dining room is all up on the second floor there. How cool is that? Like that, that is something so unique. Like what a perfect dining location. Here is the downstairs level, and I love seeing all the furniture, and then all of the pictures over here too of Walt and Roy. This is really cool. And Lily, and then they got a nice little piano here, and it leads right into Lily's boutique, 
and we're gonna be going upstairs. They even have an elevator in here. They have the iconic photo of Walt with Mickey in the reflection there. This is really cool. This is at uh, Walt's house in uh, California, and you can actually go there. And then over here, I think there's a picture of baby Walt. I think that's him. Let me see. Yep, Walter Elias Disney there. And then of course, his mother and father. Isn't that so awesome how they have this decorated like that? Very cool. Is that him, Mickey? Yeah, it kind of is. You know, That's what I was thinking. The thought process there? Yeah. Um, in your face, Mickey? Yeah. I would love to take the elevator, though. Yeah, that'd be cool. Look at this elevator. I wonder if I could just take a peek see on the inside. Wow. That is so cool. Look at the ceiling, too. Funny, I get excited about the littlest things. So I asked for a little bit more detail and this is supposed to be like a recreation of Walt's like home, like his living room with the photos and stuff like that. And then once we get upstairs, there are four different dining rooms and they're all themed after the different lands in the park. So it's cool. I wonder which one we're going to get, like Frontier Land or Discovery Land or Fantasy Land. I would love Fantasy Land. That's the one I'm hoping for. Here is a look at the menu. Look at this, Waltz, an American restaurant established 1901. At the beginning of the 20th century, the lives of Americans changed forever with the arrival of electricity, motorized vehicles, and many other inventions and discoveries. That's really cool. It looks like it's about 55 euro, 55 euros. It's like a, uh, I think it's a three course. So I think we get starter, main, and then dessert. Yeah, you could buy certain pairings. Well, this is going to be very interesting. Yeah. And then, of course, we've got Walt's bust right here. Look at that. Very fancy. And we're going up. This is such an awesome restaurant. Especially if you're a big, like, Walt Disney fan. Look at him with Shirley Temple there. Him in Disneyland. Looks like we were pretty lucky and we are in the fantasy room. In fact, we're right next to the castle. Look at this. I can't wait to show you around a little bit. And if you just look out the window, you can see everyone just walking along Main Street USA. Isn't that so cool? This is the fantasy land room. I like the wallpaper, the pictures on the walls. And then this is adventure land. I could tell by the swords on the walls. Very cool. I would assume over here must be Discovery. Yeah, it's probably Discovery on this side. That continues in Adventureland. This one, I don't know, I'm guessing Frontierland. Only because it looks like Frontierish. Oh yeah, there's a picture of Big Thunder Mountain over there. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with actually looking out the windows. You could probably ask for a table by the window, but I'm happy where I'm at. I like uh, Fantasyland. It's still very awesome. It's empty in the park tonight too. You can actually purchase a uh, 30th anniversary Waltz American Restaurant pen, which I am gonna be taking that home with me, definitely. And uh, yeah, we gotta figure out what exactly we're gonna get into here in his wish it in this restaurant which bears his name certain dishes are inspired by some of his favorite food our chefs have created modern versions which Walt with his love of intervention would surely have been excited to try fun fact I actually ate at uh, Walt Disney's favorite restaurant in Burbank California the Tam O'Shanter and I actually went to his favorite table it was so cool usually Walt liked to eat uh, like beans out of a can and then he like just spit sandwiches like bread and meat he was very picky eater
I always like to joke, like, because we had that Midwest appetite, the Midwest, uh, like, like eating, like, style. And uh, it's kind of how I am, too. I'm a meat and bread kind of guy. For starters, it looks like you pick uh, between sweet corn soup, chicken pot pie, or a world off, uh, world off salad. I want to get them both. I want to get the chicken pot pie and the sweet corn soup. And then for the main course, you have a choice between uh, chili con... Uh, chili con carne, which is like, you know, chili. Walt loved his chili. Roast chicken breast, mac and cheese, and a Cajun spiced Arctic char. Oh, well, that actually sounds pretty good. And then dessert, you have lemon meringue, pineapple upside down, floor, flower street sundae, or warm giant cookie. I'm already thinking to myself, how can I sneak this plate out of here? Look at that. Look at Mickey on the top there. I'm sure they probably sell these somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I'll just go straight to the vendor. I decided on going with the Shirley Temple and also the mint julep. And the mint julep is so cold. Look at this. It's very frosty. And the Shirley Temple's fancy because it's bright and ginger ale. Oh, fancy. We've seen lots of pictures of Walt and Shirley Temple. That's because uh, Shirley Temple was actually, the, the drink itself was created at the Hollywood Brown Derby. And this one looks really good. Like I said, it's got ginger ale in it. I've been on a ginger ale kick. That's the best Shirley Temple I've ever gotten. We also got a little bread service to come with our meal. Looks good. Looks like it's fresh bread. Very fancy. Here comes the sweet corn soup. It's time to dive into this soup. Get some popcorn in there. You know, Walt loved his popcorn. Look at this. I'm excited. Big soup guy here. Here we go, soup. Good soup. We additionally added the chicken pot pie because I really wanted to try it. And I love how it comes with a little Mickey topper there. Look at that in there. That's going to be really good, but the soup is phenomenal. And it goes grout. It goes really good with the bread. I don't know how to approach this because I want to stick true to ears first. You know, so I think I'm gonna. Oh my lord. Slippery little sucker. <laughs> Pretty woman reference. There we go. Grab some of this. Just like that. Oh boy. Oh, it's very flaky. There we go. I am glad we got them both because they are both amazing. Wow. So good. All right, it's time for the main course. Here is the roasted chicken with asparagus, sweet potato mash, and gravy. Walt loved chicken, whether it had been fried or grilled, as long as it was served with one vegetable and a side of gravy. That's all that mattered. DTH ended up getting the mac and cheese, and look at that mac and cheese. I don't know why it looks so cheesy. It looks very cheesy though, and then there's a little shiitake mushroom on top there. And once again, I need to find this bowl. I do love asparagus, but I ended up getting a little of the chicken with some of the gravy and the sweet potato mash all in one bite, and here we go. Very good. I think it's the sweet potato mash that's doing it for me. Now I have to try the asparagus. Perfect. I definitely am going to clean my plate. I'm actually cleaning my plate and trying to get all this gravy up and try to get every single bit on the chicken there. Look at that. I'm going to actually flip this chicken over and then get the other side. There we go. I got to get it all. Now it's time for dessert and I went with the lemon meringue one and it looks really good. Very fancy. You know, Walt loved lemon. He loved the uh, lemon chiffon. So this is going to be a nice little twist. 
DTH ended up getting the pineapple upside down cake, and this looks good too. Look at that. I love how I'm just like sliding things around. But I like how we're sharing our photos and videos. We're like here, yeah. <laughs> I made the right call. This is definitely lemony fresh. Dinner was amazing. I love it here so much. Might be one of my all-time favorite Disney restaurants. It was so cool seeing all the photos of Walt and the food was just phenomenal. Next level and I enjoyed it so much. One last thing I wanted to do before we left is take this elevator. The restaurant's closed, so no one's gonna be using it, and uh, I'm very excited to do that. Oh, okay, it's making its way back up. Here we go. This is probably the fanciest elevator I've ever been in. Wow, look at this. Doors are shut, you can look up. And we're going down. Take me down to zero. Ooh. I don't know why I'm in love. I'm in love, look at, oh. Oh, it's the little things in life that make me happy. Uh, <laughs> Rides in an old elevator is one of them. Wow, that is too precious. I mean, it's not an old elevator. It's just styled after an old elevator, but still pretty amazing. And with that, I think we are done here today. I was gonna go hang out and ride some rides, uh, but Waltz actually took a long time. That's because it was uh, maybe a more higher end restaurant than the other restaurants inside the park. So the service was very catering and it was really good. It was amazing service, but we were there for quite a bit. I think the total dining experience was I think roughly around like two hours maybe and like that's also me walking around enjoying everything inside the restaurant I was just in awe and uh, yeah I think that's gonna do it for me here at Disneyland Paris the time has come I mean I was here for three days but uh, it's been an epic two-week trip honestly I'm gonna see possibly just possibly if I can go to Disneyland Paris tomorrow morning and then catch my flight like <laughs> I know that sounds crazy but I loved it and I want to go I wish I could buy an annual pass but I think they stopped selling annual passes uh, so uh, yeah we'll see fingers crossed if I end up making another video then I was successfully there if not then uh, I guess this is it I guess this is it. Trip is over, but I'm coming back. I gotta come back. I love it here. I wanna do so much more. I wanna see the world. I wanna go to all these amazing countries and I wanna share it with you guys. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.